Hubby Matt Slays for another Marriage Monday. And today we're gonna be testing fidget spinners. So fidget spinners are all the craze right now. They're super fun and addicting to play with. So for today's video, we thought it'd be fun to test a fidget spinner that costs a dollar versus a fidget spinner that costs $150. Make sure to subscribe and join the Zamfam if you haven't, and give this video a thumbs up if you're obsessed with fidget spinners like we are. I almost forgot that I promised you guys that there'd be a surprise for you guys today, and so let's show the surprise. Ta-da! New merch for you guys! Now, you guys know I hit 1 million subscribers and I wanted to do something for you guys, and so we have this big flash sale going on for a limited amount of time, but it has shirts that say hashtag awkward, because you know, I'm awkward, and I do awkward things, and hopefully you guys do too. So if you wanna get one of these shirts or sweatshirts. There's really nothing more awkward than seeing me <laughs> in a hashtag awkward women's small. <laughs> I will put a link in the description below, and go get a shirt, there are lots of fun, and you can be awkward, like me. Bet. Be awkward. This is already awkward enough. Is it cool if I change back into my own shirt? Yeah, you can because I don't want that stretched out anyways. So right now we have two fidget spinners that are a dollar and then we ordered this one. I have not opened it yet, but it was $150. Now $150 seems pretty crazy for a fidget spinner. I could think about all the things I could buy with $150. <laughs> it makes no sense and we kind of learned some tricks with these that we're going to show you guys and we're going to open this up and we're going to see and compare what they do better and if it's really worth spending $150 on a fidget spinner. So we are opening it up. It's in a very fancy case. And it says it's titanium. This is it? This was $150? It feels smaller and lighter though. Hmm. So this $150 fidget spinner is much smaller than this dollar one. Wait, so bigger isn't better in this <laughs> world? I don't know. I am not a fidget spinner expert, but it does move a lot faster. Here, try it. It is pretty freaking smooth. Would I say it's worth $150? We'll have to find out. Now, is it easier to balance with that one? I would think that a bigger one would be easier to balance just because it has more mass on the outside, but this is going pretty smooth. Oh, it balances so much easier. Should we try some tricks? Let's try some tricks. So the first challenge that Matt and I are going to do is a very easy one, but we're gonna spin it on our fingers. Here we go. Mine's kind of wobbling a lot. Mine is so sturdy, but it feels so weird. Okay, now we're gonna switch to the other hand. I'm literally on the tip of mine and it's still balancing. All right, I'm spinning both the dollar and the $150 one. Oh yeah. The 150 one's a lot more steady, but I kind of like the dollar one because you have to work harder and it's kind of more fun. I just can't believe how small this $150 fidget spinner is. I'm gonna name it Titanium. Because it's bulletproof? Yeah, because it said Titanium on the package. <laughs> this is a trick that Matt and I have learned. And basically, you go from one finger to the next. You go ahead and go first. <sighs> we can go. Oh, I'm sad. There we go, there we go. Oh. It still counts. Mine just balanced. Oh. oh! This is so... Oh! Matt, Matt, I did it! Yes! Yeah. We're awesome! Yes! This is, I have to say, very addicting. Matt, I want you to try this one now. It's definitely harder with the $150 fidget spinner for tossing it from one finger to the next. Ah. Next, we're gonna try to spin these on our nose and we're gonna start with the dollar fidget spinners. Ow. This is the time when you really want a flat nose. Oh! Yeah. Got it! Who wants to do the small one? You go first. Got it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's easy! Oh. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Oh! Yes, yes. Oh, yeah! Now we're gonna test which fidget spinner spins the longest on the table. Go. Oh. Alright, that one started lit, but we had no choice. Spin, spin. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot! shoot. Dang it! Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot! Dang it! I won! <laughs> I feel like these two are slowing down and that one's still going. Let's see if you guys can thumbs up this video and turn on my notifications before these fidget spinners stop spinning. I will give it to the $150 fidget spinner, Titanium, as I've named him. So this is still spinning. <laughs> we're gonna see if Rebecca can sing the theme song to Titanium, which is actually Titanium by Sia. Noise canceling headphones before this stops spinning. Ricochet! Nothing go away! So if you want your fidget spinner to spin for a long time, I would definitely go with 
$50 fidget spinner. Spinning on your shoulder. Ta-da! On the elbow. Oh yeah! Whoa! She's got three! We're gonna try stacking these and spinning them on top of each other. If you start with two, okay? Wow! What? We got three fidget spinners spinning together! That looks so cool! Next we're gonna try a trick that we saw online. And basically what you do is you take a fidget spinner and you pop the little things out that go in the center and then we're gonna stick a pencil through it. Our pencil was a little bit small so we added tape to make it a little thicker and we're gonna try it out. Oh! It's not working. Oh, almost had it. <laughs> if you guys have gotten this to work, comment below what we did wrong and how can we fix it so we can make it work. Now we're gonna try balancing it on our phones. This is super tricky. I got it! It's easier with the dollar. Dollar spinner is much better for balancing on your phone. Holy cow. Oh my god. Foot! Fidget spinner. No way. You did it? Oh! Ah. Okay, let's try the $150 fidget spinner. It's actually a lot easier, it looks like. Oh! Oh! Okay, I have to admit, when I first saw these, I was like, I don't get it. It's cool. I don't get it. It spins. I don't get it. Fidget spinners are the best. Okay, I still don't get it. But now I'm obsessed with them and I keep wanting to like learn new tricks. Ugh. And that concludes us trying the dollar fidget spinner versus the $150 fidget spinner. I like the $150 fidget spinner a little bit better just because it is pretty cool looking and spins a lot easier. But I'm scared to do tricks with it. A, because it hurts <laughs> and B, because I don't want to hurt it. There are actually a lot of tricks that this one did better. Tossing it from one hand to the other, I felt like this one was easier because yeah. it had more surface area. But that one did spin like, what, like three times as long as these ones when you put it on the ground. If you don't have a lot of money, go with the dollar one because they're still just as fun and you can do just as many tricks. You just have to kind of keep it spinning for a long time. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like fidget spinners and if you're obsessed with them and comment below what kind of tricks you can do and yeah, maybe we'll try some more later. Make sure to subscribe and join the ZamFam if you haven't and if you want this cool hashtag awkward merch, I'll put the link in the description and then we can all be awkward together in our shirt. Again, this is a flash sale, so it's only for a limited time, so you need to get it sooner than later because then they'll be gone. Like this fidget spinner. <laughs> it's gone. Check out our vlog that we did on Match channel and subscribe to him if you haven't. Let's get him to 300K today. Yeah. Love you, Sam Fim, and we'll see you next time. Mwah. <laughs>